I am not gonna lie, I did not think it was gonna be this windy today, but we are back finally at the big old saltwater pier. We're gonna be doing some fishing. I don't know how rough it's going to be. This could be interesting. I haven't been here in a while, so I just wanna catch whatever the heck bites. We stopped at the bait shop, and uh, yeah, man. We stop talking, let's get out there. Okay. Appreciate it. All right, y'all, well, the spinning wheel is spinning. You guys can probably see the flags. It is windy out here today. We are going to be hitting up the pier. They got some like jams playing under the pier. I don't know if y'all can hear that. It looks like it's gonna be kind of a rough-ish day and I can't believe there's actually a lot of people out over here. Holy crap. Dude, these waves are huge. I have never seen it like this here. It's gonna be interesting to see how the uh, fishing is for sure. That is rough stuff. I don't even think we're gonna go too far out here to be honest. You guys can kind of see there's a ton of people. The tide's pretty high right now. I'm gonna show you the rig we're using. We're gonna see what we could do here. We're gonna start out with this. This is a rig that I kind of learned about on the pier as I started talking to people and some people helped me out. This is a big freaking float. Pretty sure this is called a float rig. So we have a bead right here. We got the big float. We've got a one ounce sinker and then we have another bead. And that's just tied to a swivel, tied to a leader, tied to a small little circle hook. And the way that this rig kind of works is you can adjust it to fish different parts of the water column, which is why a lot of people use it off the pier, which is pretty cool. The way you do that is, you see this right there? That is literally just a piece of fishing line and I double knotted it. I learned this, by the way, for everybody on the pier, but this is um, gonna be the bobber stop. So we can move this up and down depending on how deep we wanna fish. Probably go like here at first. I don't know if it's too, crazy out here to use this kind of rig but we're gonna try it we got live shrimp oh jeez feels like it's starting to rain a little bit man this is crazy weather so we are going to put this through the shrimp like that there's also some other ways that we could fish off the pier with these shrimp if this isn't really working i don't really know i think that might be a good thing that it's kind of crazy out there right now I might not be far out enough though. We're gonna see. So let me just get a cast out with this. All right, we're a little too shallow right here. Yeah, let's go down this way a little bit more. This spot looks a little bit battered, a little bit deeper. Not as in the breakers. We want to be like right before the breakers, I think. So basically what we want is this to not be on the very, very bottom. But honestly with this rig, we can put it wherever the heck we want. That's the cool thing about it. We can slide it up to make it deeper. We can slide it down, fish a little shallower. And we're just hoping, I mean, this water is pretty stirred up. Like really stirred up actually. We're just hoping we can entice something. I honestly might switch up to uh, just a bottom rig and see if we get these shrimp near the pines or something. This is cool though, because this is very visual. Like if we get a bite, you see that big old bobber. It's pretty fun to fish from the pier like this. my freaking shrimp. Dang it, dude. Oh, we got action. All right, so what I'm kind of trying to do here, the wind's blowing that way. So we're just kind of dropping this down and just watching the barber. It got sucked under there, dude. Oh, I wish I could just see at least what that was. 
Not bad though, that's like what, third? Something like that cast, fourth cast? Just letting it drift and then bringing it back. Whew, come on. Once I saw these conditions, I got a little, a little iffy, but that just gave me some hope right there. That could have been anything, dude. All right now, I don't know about this. I'm just hoping it's not like smaller stuff nipping us off every time. Let me see here. Remember the other day when we were at the dock and this was happening with the shrimp and a uh, little rig we had on that was a popping cork though it's a little bit different but it was taking us under and taking us under and then it was like little catfish little perch i know whatever took us under the first time here that was not some little catfish or perch dude come on something man smack this i'm really hoping like honestly jack trout or i think for for today especially with these conditions redfish redfish would be super cool and they're supposed to kind of get like like frisky on these days like this where it's just like kind of crazy surf and you know it's not the most visibility that's what i've heard at least i don't know <laughs> I'm just a guy with the bobber and the shrimp. I feel like the better luck we're gonna have is probably gonna be by these pilings here. A little bit under the pier. I just don't wanna get stuck, man. It's so easy to get stuck on the freaking bottom. All right, I say we've probably been here for like an hour, if not over that by now. We've got a few chomps, but I think we're gonna switch up the way we're fishing here. I kinda moved the bobber stop up i moved it down tried different parts of water column i think we're gonna try something else besides that one really nice bite we had i just i don't know i'm losing faith in this rig here for today i don't know if it's because it's just so yucky i think obviously a rig like this is gonna work a lot better when it's clear water fish can you know see the bait i think we're gonna try to have to bring the bait to the fish all right one more drift bring this back up right under us let the line go. Come on, Bobber. If there's ever a time to go down, it is now. It's just, it's dancing down there, dude. It's just getting pushed around. The current, the wind, the waves. All right, so this is what we audible to, just shrimp. And that's a one and a half ounce egg sinker. Probably won't hold bottom, but we might just drift around a little bit like we were doing. Put this under the pier, kind of near the pilings. Let's just do a little experimentation, you know? You never know what could happen. What is that? First fish of the day? Okay, I will take that. See, now that's kind of what happens when you switch to a different part of the water column. Chill, 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 chill. I thought that might have been a redfish when I first saw it. That's a beautiful little whiting right there. Get this thing out of your little sucker mouth. All right, first fish of the day on the bottom. That seems to be the strat. Oh, there he goes. Not a nice look. <laughs> Sorry about that. Certain days, like today, I just uh, I feel like letting go of the first fish is like good luck. It's probably not, but that's just in my brain. I don't know if we're gonna keep anything yet today. Depends on what we catch, but 
That was a good way to start. <laughs> Catching something. Let's get this back down there. Shoo. We on? Check the shrimp. I was changing my GoPro battery. Yeah, we had something bite us right there. All right, it is imperative to get these dudes down there while they're still alive, because these things can croak pretty quickly. And a fresh live shrimp down there. I just, you know, live shrimp just, it's like the trophy bait. My bubbler's on its last leg. I gotta get a new one. I gotta get a new bucket too. I don't really like this bucket, dude. There's a bite. like this kind of bite. It's just like the little nibbles. A lot of times that's how you get stolen. What's your name? Michael. Hey, me too. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. We got stopped by Michael. What's up, man? What's up? He uh, watches the videos. Hopefully one of us catches something. <laughs> Got fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy. Sheesh. That's what I'm talking about. That's not bad. When does the flounder season end here? Okay, so it's not now. Oh really? Yeah, flounder is my favorite. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, flounder. Good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. There we go, y'all. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. You never know what you can catch down there. I was just saying, oh yeah, I really caught too much. Boom. Freaking flounder. That's... You said 14? Like, you might make it though. Yeah, I can put them down here. Yeah, he made it. Cool. Yep. He's, he's 15. Heck yeah. He's 15. No, he... <laughs> What's that? Oh, I'm about to say, don't throw it back. You're going to throw it back. No, I'm going to take this one probably. <laughs> yeah. If you don't, let me know. All right, got you. I'll take shit. Yeah, these things taste pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't have anything besides one whiting, and I just dropped this down, and I didn't even think I had a fish on it. I just reeled it up. I thought I had my bait stolen. Yeah, that's not a <laughs> uh, it's like a one and a half ounce egg weight. One and a half? Yeah, one and a half. It's kind of bouncing around a little. It's not holding bottom, but okay. it's drifting a little, so that might have helped. All right. That's a nice catch. Okay. I appreciated that. Yeah. Look how pretty that white side bottom is. You guys have knives? Yeah, you want like a big knife or a plate? All right, we are walking back out. Hopefully my fish is still there, it didn't get jacked. <laughs> but we got a knife and some ice. Y'all are loud, bro. Some loud freaking birds. Hopefully nobody jacked my fish. Two fillets. One flounder. I'm just gonna keep the flounder on me just in case a game warden shows up. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Cause like, how do they know you didn't just keep like an illegal sized flounder, you know what I'm saying? And that y'all is what I'm talking about when I say you never know what you freaking can catch when you're saltwater fishing. It's funny, everybody was trying to take the flounder from me. We're gonna take that home with the little catching cook, man. These are freaking tasty and I've never actually caught one anywhere near here. And the season ends October 15th. So, if 
feel like it's only right. I did not expect to catch that today. This whole day has just been kind of, oh, I just got bit right there. It's been a little unexpected. So if you're wondering like, how are you keeping that fish if you didn't bring cooler or anything? So we got the fish cut, we've got the ice, and this is a company that actually sent me out and it has like a cooler part of the top, like it's insulated. So put the fish in there, zip up the ice, and we're gonna test it out and see like how it works. I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. All right, it is the next day back in the camper. And uh, if you guys have been following the channel for a while, we have done a lot of different catch and cooks with flounder. Flounder is one of my favorite fish, honestly, to catch, especially back. <laughs> hey, say hi. But yeah, flounder back in Delaware, we used to go uh, saltwater fishing a lot. We'd go to the pier, we'd kayak and stuff. I love catching them. We've done a lot of catch and cooks, a bunch of different ways. Blackened them, we've pan fried them. I think I've even grilled them. We've uh, put them in some flaming hot Cheetos. You know what we're gonna do today? Boom, static seasoning. If you guys are not familiar, man, this is my company I started. It's almost coming up on like, what, a month now? Time freaking flies, man, this is crazy. But yeah, man, start from the bottom. Hopefully one day we will be up there. And I appreciate all y'all who have uh, been showing love and support and buying the seasoning. It's really cool to see all the pictures and stuff you guys make, and it sounds like a lot of you guys are enjoying it. Let me know down in the comment section below what's your favorite thing to put it on if you have tried it, and if you haven't yet, it links down there in the description below as always though i just like i appreciate y'all for being here and vibing and watching the freaking videos but it's just there you know the link in the description if you want some seasoning it is freaking fire and today we're going to cook this flounder up in a freaking fire way and i'm just excited man it's a good day i just did not think the water was going to be that dirty but it's definitely even dirtier today like it is very rough out there i think a big storm is passing by us so that water is probably not going to clear up for a few days and i've been missing some flounder man when's the last time we caught and cooked one can't even remember. I think was it off the beach. That was that was months and months and months ago. I didn't even mean to catch one then either. I feel like we always catch them on accident here. But all right, pan is ready. Let's get the flounder out. Let's get rolling. We are propped up on a dish towel right now, but just in case you are not aware, we have this little recipe we've been doing. And this is gonna be the last time I do it on a fish. We're gonna like kind of evolve and upgrade our recipes. And I just want to not keep showing you all the same old, same old, same old stuff. But in case you haven't seen it, and even if you have seen it, you already know what's going on here, man. This thing is, it, ooh, we are putting some butter in the pan. Simple, we got some good old Irish butter. For a while there, Kelsey and I were buying like some not butter butter, if that makes any sense. Like this stuff right here, it's still in our fridge. Not a big pan. It's not even real, it's not real butter. I don't even know what it is, some kind of weird oil stuff. And it's just not as good. So here we go, turn that on. I guess I should get the fish out too. Boom! So I've been hearing that a lot of people are catching flounder and a lot of different kinds of fish, but they're catching them all mullet. So we have to like dial this thing in. I think like the later in the like fall season it gets, the mullet should be more everywhere. But right now I wanna like, I'm gonna get on them. I wanna cast nest some mullet. And I think we probably, we're throwing mullet there. Probably could have caught some, some, some good stuff. All right, butter is melting. Y'all know what time it is, man. The static on the butter, boom. Oh, it smells so good. This is what you're looking for. Beautiful, nice, buttery, spicy. We're gonna go with one big old flounder filet. Usually I put the skin side down first or I just cut the skin off. I don't know, we just kept it on. We'll flip it in a second. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you could see how beautifully juicy and succulent this flounder is right here. We're gonna just top it off with a little bit more. This is lady's kind of weird right here. A little bit more spice. I know it has enough flavor already, but sometimes you just want a little extra spicy, you know what I'm saying? That's probably gonna be really spicy. There we go. How good does that look right there, Red? Juicy, fresh. Flounder from the big old pier. The first flounder we ever caught from the big pier. 
And yeah, as I said earlier in this video, as we found out, it is like not too far off from the season closing here. So it's kind of nice to be able to catch one and be able to enjoy it. All right, I just took some pictures. They came out pretty freaking good looking. If you guys want to check it out, head over to the Static Seasoning Instagram. And also, if uh, you guys are new here, if you just didn't know, I also have an Instagram. I am a inspiring fish photographer person and uh I, I yeah i got instagram if you guys want to follow it oh ho, 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 ho. all right i don't know if you guys can hear that outside either uh my neighbors have children and the child is like making an interesting sound there we go man fresh caught flounder from the pier Woo! with the butter and a little spicy cajun Dude, this is so freaking good man it's like every other freaking thing we've done the static butter on and I'm excited to try it on new things and we have some other recipes that I want to do as well as get back to cooking outdoors uh, There's a lot of stuff you guys are gonna see we're kind of gonna be mixing it up here over the next couple weeks and Experimenting and fishing and hopefully finding these freaking mullet. I don't know. Let me know Should we do a little catch and cook mullet either way? That is pretty much gonna do here for this video today We're gonna finish that up and we still have a whole another fillet and uh, I'm excited to see Kelsey's reaction as well But appreciate you guys for all the support man. Thank you so much for watching. All I gotta say man Let's keep this rolling. Thank y'all for watching. See you next video. You wanna know just where?